Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside Japan. This is Derek, and today I want to give a brief overview of my favorite Japanese foods in Japan. Japan is famous for its noodles. The big three noodles are ramen, udon, and soba. Soba is a thin brown noodle which is made from buckwheat and is gluten free. Udon noodles are made from wheat flour and are the thickest of the three. Noodles can be eaten as is or with a light soup called kake udon. Many restaurants offer a variety of toppings like eggs and tempura to go with the noodles. Ramen is also made from wheat flour but is thinner than udon. It is served in a big bowl and usually comes with pork, bamboo, and green onions. Other toppings can include a boiled egg, seaweed, and naruto, which is made from a fish paste. The noodles are usually served with broth in one of four flavors salt, soy sauce, miso soup, and a milky pork broth. If you've only ever tried instant noodles, you'll be in for a real treat. One of my favorite dishes is okonomiyaki. Which mixes cabbage, batter, and your favorite toppings, and is cooked on a large griddle and then served with a sweet sauce for a delicious yet healthy meal. Japan is also famous for its sticky rice. Rice balls, called onigiri, are an easy lunch when out and about. Rice is pounded into rice cakes, called mochi, and often eaten as is or with soy sauce or sweet bean paste. And it can also be baked into crunchy soy sauce flavored rice crackers. There are a variety of grilled chicken skewers called yakitori. I usually stick with meat from the breast and thigh, as well as chicken meatballs, which can be seasoned with salt or a sweet sauce, but the more adventurous eater can try a variety of innards as well. Kyoza is a dish where minced pork and Chinese cabbage are wrapped in a thin flour wrapping. Like ramen, they originated in China, where they are usually boiled, but in Japan, gyoza are most often fried and sometimes deep fried as well. Tempura is a dish where a variety of seafood and vegetables are battered and deep fried. It's very healthy and often found in set meals and lunch boxes. If you love steak, you can go to a yakiniku restaurant serving imported beef as well as the premium fatty Japanese beef called wagyu. You can also order a Hamburg steak, which combines minced beef and pork along with onions. It can be served with a variety of toppings and sauces. Tonkatsu are very delicious breaded pork cutlets. You can choose between pork filet and pork loin, and this dish is usually served with cabbage and a sweet sauce. You can sometimes find them prepared as a set of sandwiches as well. When people have a party sitting around a boiling pot and adding their favorite meat and veggies, it's called a nabe party. Sukiyaki boils thinly sliced beef and is boiled with vegetables in a sweet sauce and often dipped in raw egg. And last, any list about food in Japan wouldn't be complete without sushi, Japan's signature seafood dish with sliced sashimi on top of rice served with wasabi and soy sauce. More reasonably priced establishments have dishes coming around on conveyor belts, while upscale sushi bars prepare each dish to order for maximum freshness. Thanks for joining us today, and make sure to comment below if there are any videos or topics you would like us to cover in the future. This has been Inside Japan.